Hey LC, I'm Kennedy Carnegie. And I'm Grace Bankowski. Welcome to your Season 5 finale. To start the show off, we're going to bring back Tribe Vibes. What's up, LC? I'm Elena Saren, and welcome back to your last edition of Tribe Vibes. Sam couldn't make it today, so I'll be filling in, but let's go check out what some LC students are doing this summer. This summer, I'll be going to Stanford University. So basically, what I'm going for is it's an academic quarter, so I'm taking four classes. We go on like field trips. We go to Silicon Valley Innovation Academies. We go to science academies. Uh, some Giants games, we go to the beach sometimes. So pretty much it's an overall experience for the future. This summer I'll be traveling to Spain for a study abroad program through IMHPFL. My Spanish teacher talked to me about it. I think all the foreign language teachers talk to their students. We still have to go to school down there. And then you're not allowed to have your phone, um, you're not allowed to speak English, and then you only get internet access once a week. So basically throughout the program I'll just be, you know, diverging into the culture and learning more about the language. I'm already a fluent speaker, but I just think it's a great opportunity to learn more about Spain, and I'm really excited to go this summer. So I'm going to Brazil to go to like a seminar and camp and to train for two months down there. And what I'm doing down there is to learn more technique for my master, which is a six degree black belt, which is 45 years of training or more. And it's very hard to get up here because not a lot of people here have the same technique as Brazilians. This summer I'm going to a master class in, at my cousin's studio in Naperville and it's with Sean Liu and Casey Rice from World of Dance. And I'm really excited because they're just amazing dancers. And I can't wait to learn their choreography. It's gonna be a hip hop class. I'm nervous because I feel like everyone at that studio is just really amazing and yeah, <laughs> I'm excited though. We hope that our LC students have a great summer. And now we're going to show some of our teachers a little bit of appreciation. So this year I would say my math teacher, Ms. Lowen, really helped me out. Like, I often went to her PTE, she often gave me good advice and liked to help me out. And this really improved my math functionalities. Because really in the beginning of this year, I went into Calc, I didn't even take pre-Calc, didn't take Algebra 2, went straight to Calc. I had no idea what was going on, but she really supported me. She was always asking me, yeah, you're getting along with the stuff, are you sure you can do this, and do you need help with this? And I really wanted to thank her, like this really made my year here that she helped me so much out with that. I think Miss Ness would be my favorite teacher that I should definitely thank because many of my insecurities of going on stage and being afraid has kind of gone away because she taught me that it doesn't really matter, it's theater, everybody looks like an idiot. I say my teacher, Miss Shakir, she's a geometry teacher this year. Um, she's helped me a lot by just basically in general helping me with my studies and just encouraging me to pass the class because I've always had a hard time in geometry. I'd just like to thank Miss Rakita for everything she did this year. She's a really great teacher. She, she does world history, you know. She's helped me through a lot, you know, when I was upset or like when I was sick, she was like a mother to me. She's a great teacher. If I had to pick a favorite teacher, it would definitely be Miss Gatos, the Spanish teacher, because she's my girl, Miss Gatos. She pops off on me sometimes, but she gave me half her cookies. So, like, we're like best friends. Miss Gatos and I always go, like, we're always like, Miss Gatos, you go. And she's like, Connor, I love you, but you're loud. And I'm like, it's okay, because we're best friends. So. The teacher I definitely want to thank is Mr. Bannon. He's helped me a lot through the years with my surgery and just overall making me a better person. Mr. Hilliard, he's been a really good teacher to me. He's always really cool and really funny. And he's just a really chill dude. He's really helped me like get my grade up from literally an F to a B. I want to thank uh, Ms. Davis because she always just keeps me on task. And she's like a really good t Spanish teacher. She's a really good Spanish teacher, so yeah. We want to thank you all again for so much hard work and dedication this school year. And now that summer is here, let's go talk to Josh and Bruni and find some summer gems. 
What's up, LC? I'm Josh Burnett. And I'm Brie Cosina. Today, we're checking out some summer region chefs. Brie, where are we going first? First, we are going to Dairy Bell in Cedar Lake. If you are interested, be sure to check out Dairy Bell located in Cedar Lake off of North Lakeshore Drive. They have a variety of treats and they also sell food such as hot dogs. Jody's has a variety of Italianized flavors to choose from. It is located in Munster off of Calumet Avenue. Be sure to check it out. Now after checking out both of those, Brie, what do you think of them? I really like and recommend both of them, but I like the view at Cedar Lake more. How about you? I really like Jody's uh, Italian ice, mainly because um, the ice cream at Dairy Bell didn't really taste the best, but I still really did enjoy the atmosphere at uh, Cedar Lake. You've never seen That's all for this year, LC. I'm Josh Burnett. And I'm Brie Cosina. See you guys next year. Be sure to go check out some of Josh and Brie's summer gems. Now we're going to head back to the studio to talk about next year for LC TV. Hi, I'm Kennedy Carnegie. And I'm Grace Mankowski. And we are your 2019-2020 Editors-in-Chiefs of LCTV. Next year we're planning on doing a lot more dynamic segments that you guys will see week to week. And we're also going to build some sets over the summer that our hosts will be anchoring from and you'll get to see them every week. Uh, next year we really want to get the students more involved with Tribe TV, so we're going to put two drop boxes at the front of the LCTV doors. And you guys can feel free to drop any comments or even ideas for us to put on future episodes of Tribe TV. Hi, I'm Josh Burnett. I'm Javani Alcantara. And we're your 2019-2020 LCTV Sports Editor. Next year we just uh, want to make sure that every sport is covered, uh, not just uh, the big sports, making sure that everyone in the class is going out to different events and we hope me and Josh can accomplish that next year. So this year we started doing Athlete of the Week towards the end of the year and a lot of people said that it's cool but we, they wish we would have done it all year so next year we're definitely going to try it and do it every week uh, and we just did the Senior Athlete of the Year so maybe we're going to try and do like Fall Sports Athlete uh, of the Year, Winter Sports Athlete of the Year, just cool stuff like that to look forward to so it isn't just uh, us two sitting in front of the camera uh, going on about scores. You guys are all excited for season six. Now let's tune into our last sports update of the year. Hey guys, Bailey and I here, and this is not really us hosting sports update this week. This is us saying goodbye. For some of you guys that don't know, Bailey and I are seniors and will be graduating this week. Um, our two-year tenure of being sports editors is coming to an end, and I would just like to thank the students, teachers, and athletes and coaches for their hard work and participation. Without them, sports update wouldn't be possible. Next, I'd like to thank Bailey Furman. I wouldn't think of a better person by my side for these past two years to host sports update with me. It's been one heck of a ride, and I can't thank Bailey enough for being there with me. I also want to thank all the athletes for their participation and coming down for your interviews when you're asked to, and I especially want to thank Jack too. I mean, we've been best friends since freshman year, and we've been in LCTV all this time, and I just know that I can always count on you to be there when we're all stressed out. Now, sports updates won't be coming to an end. Next year, there will be another sports editor. Giovanni still will be hosting sports updates, but coming will be Josh Brunette. So for the final time, I am Jack Thiel. And I'm Bailey Furman. Thank you for the memories, Elsie. Uh, before we start our sports update, I want to thank Jack and Bailey for all <laughs> <laughs> First off, I want to thank Jack and Bailey for all the hard work they put in this year with sports updates. Uh, wouldn't be possible without them, and I wish them best of luck in their futures. And now let's take a look back at some of the bloopers from this year. Welcome to this week's sports. Uh, <laughs> can't speak. <laughs> I'm literally like crying Come right on. now. We would like her, we would, oh my god. <laughs> I'm setting you up perfect. They will travel to South Bend to play again. Ugh. The girls softball team received their rings for making it to state and no. Did I, I, I. 
Junior Athlete of the Year, sports update. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it is Friday Night Basketball. Everybody needs to show out and support the tribe, everybody. I thought you were... Oh my god, I forgot. We want to wish the best of luck to them. We want to... <laughs> We want to, we want to, we want to. <laughs> Make sure you come out support them at Crown Point next week as they have a big game against the Bulldogs. Hey. The baseball team beat with. <laughs> <laughs> the Wait. base. Oh my god. The baseball team beat with. Oh my this god. This thing is like squeaking non stop. Yeah. I didn't know you were just going to mention the fort. 2,000 years later. What else? I mean, I'd be proud of Monday. That was. Why'd you do it like that? You were like that. Ready? That's all for us here. I'm Jack Thiel. And I'm Bailey Furman. Let's get back to Chai TV. Man, that was Finally. terrible. That was terrible. <laughs> we want to say good luck to the boys' golf team who starts their postseason at Palmyra Golf Course this weekend. Unfortunately, the softball team fell to Crown Point in the championship game last Friday, two to nothing. We want to thank the four seniors, Janet Toll, who was the DAC MVP, Olivia Pearson, Lexi Sherlin, and Gabby Cara. We wish them the best of luck in their futures. Good luck to our girls track team who heads to IU Bloomington this weekend for the state championship. A big congratulations to the baseball team as they continued their sectional streak by winning their third straight sectional championship. Sean Sullivan had the game-winning run in the bottom of the seventh inning. Congrats to him, and we caught up with Coach Fortune Schuber to get his thoughts on the win. You know, at that point in the season when it's one and done, you know, all you can do is just keep, you know, trying to keep them up and, you know, hey, we got nine outs left, we got 12 outs left, we got six outs left, you know, just keep trying to put together good at bats. And, you know, we finally got an inning there where we had something going and we, we made the most of it. We got it tied, and then, you know, Brock was really good. Uh, pitching to kind of shut the door and, and give us a chance to win it in the seventh. You know, I don't know. This is my third year here. I don't know if this is, you know, this is, this is a talented team. Don't get me wrong. I don't know how, you know, how it compares with the first two. But, you know, I do know that we do have a lot of uh, ability to, 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 to win close games. Our record in one-run games has been really good this year. Uh, we find it always seem, you know, seem to find always, you know, find a way to win. You know, whether it's yesterday, you know, Munster, earlier in the week, we got behind two to nothing against them and were able to hold, you know, hold things down until we were able to put together a big inning. And, you know, so I think it's a, it's a good, you know, this is a close-knit bunch. You know, they, they get along really well. And I think that kind of helps them kind of stay together in tough situations. Yeah, I'd love to see a big crowd. You know, we had great crowds for the sectional. Uh, obviously, Laporte's a whole different drive, but, you know, Saturday morning, you know, I don't know. People have a whole lot going on. Go over to Laporte. We play at 10:30 against Crown Point. We hope to see him there. Once again, if you want to check out the baseball team, be sure to head out to Laporte High School on Saturday. The first game is on 10:30 against the rival Crown Point Bulldogs. We want to thank you guys for tuning in to this week's sports update, and we hope that you catch me and Josh back here next year for season six of Tribe TV. Now to wrap it up, let's take a look at the end of the year highlight reel. to Jack Davis. Davis is...
Update guys. Now come with Julia and I for our last carpool karaoke. Hey LC, I'm Kennedy Carnegie. And I'm Julia Nara. And for your last episode of Tribe TV, we're coming back with another carpool karaoke. But this time, we're gonna be carpooling with the junior prom court. Let's get into it. Hey! Hey! Guys. What's up, guys? <laughs> Mateo and Kaylee were our junior prom prince and princess. And congratulations to Lila and Sal on being the prom queen and king. Mateo, now I gotta ask, what was your favorite song at prom? Um, I'm gonna say it's gotta be Suavemente. That's a good one. song at prom too. So how was prom for you guys? I thought it was really fun. I had a good date, good friends, so it was an overall good time. Uh, prom was pretty fun for me too, especially at the new school, you know, LC teed up, so it was LC a fun time. <laughs> LC showed out. Well, so how did it feel? I was really surprised. Yeah, I was surprised as well, especially with all the awesome nominees up there for the prom court. Agreed. Yeah. Well, did you guys do anything fun after prom? I got some food at Little Italy, and then I went back to one of my friend's house and hung out, and it was fun. Yeah, and I uh, went to a party with some friends, you know, just chilling the rest of the night. So, yeah, that was pretty fun as well. Sounds like a good time. Yeah, solid night. So I think we definitely have to listen to one more song, and I think there's no better way than to end this video the way we started with... A little uh, party in the USA? Absolutely. Play it! <laughs> Like we're here. Thank you thanks for having for us. Guys. Thanks, thanks for guys. Having us. All right, I'll see. Thanks for joining us on our last carpool karaoke of 2019. We'll see you guys next year. Bye. Thanks for driving around with me this year, Lake Central. Now let's go take a trip down memory lane. Hey, good afternoon. My name is Mike Peters. I'm a first year culinary instructor here at Lake Central High School. So I decided that we were going to have a hush puppy lab. Anybody that doesn't know what that is, it's fried dough. And so apparently I made some people upset during my lab. And so there I am minding my own business at my desk and I hear a loud <laughs> clang. And I didn't know what it was. I didn't know if it was a gunshot, if somebody fell down or what. I even went as far as to go out into the hallway to see if somebody was fighting out here, right? So I walk back into the room, I sit down and what do I see on the floor? I see a hush puppy. And I thought I made it through the whole, almost the whole school year without making too many people mad. And uh, I did, play, I played it off pretty well, but I thought it was pretty funny that somebody was mad enough to throw fried pastries at the year one culinary instructor. So I'll laugh about that until next year. Uh, I'm Mrs. Vukas, I teach chemistry here. I'm Mrs. Gore, I teach English tonight and world life. And the funniest thing that we did this year was on the teacher work day when all of you guys went home, I have a wheelie chair that has a yoga ball on it and I wouldn't get out of it the day I got it, and Mrs. Gore ran me through the wedge and then almost ran me into a wall. Hi, I'm Stephanie Parks. I teach anatomy and physiology, and one funny story from this year was I was probably droning on and on about something like the cardiovascular system, which I find extremely interesting but could be boring to some, and one of my students started to um, do squats and push-ups, and when I looked at him and said, what are you doing? He said, sorry, Mrs. Parks, I just needed to get a quick pump. The memories. And now if Josh and Bree's gems weren't enough, here's some region hot spots. What's up Lake Central? I'm Zach Cattell. And I'm Alex Yates. And we're checking out some region hot spots for you guys this summer. Let's go check it out. First on region hot spots, we are in downtown Hammond, where you can find the Toll Theater. This summer, be sure to catch the Toll's production of String the Musical. You can find tickets at tolltheater.org. 
Next up on Region Hotspots, we have the Central Beach, located in Indian Dunes National Park. The beach is a 4.6 Yelp review and is a great place to lounge around, tan, chill at the beach, or listen to music. If you love summer festivals, the Lake County Fair will be the place for you. The fair will be at the Lake County Fairgrounds August 2nd through August 11th. Here you can find many amazing rides, delicious fair food, horse racing, and many art vendors. And finally on this list we have the Crown Point Square. From candy stores, antique stores, and region favorites like Sip and Cafe Fresco, you won't want to miss out here this summer. hot spots. Now I don't know about you guys, but I love summer concerts, so let's go see some of your guys' favorites. I'm going to Lollapalooza for four days this summer. I'm staying at the Congress Hotel. I'm going to have two rooms, so that's going to be pretty nice. I've been to Lollapalooza. I went last year four days, and the year before that, I went on Sunday. Some tips for Lollapalooza. Uh, you need a camelback if you're going four days. That's a necessity. Another thing is I would bring garbage bags for dirty clothes because your clothes start to stink real bad as Lala progresses, so I would do that. I will be going to the Picnic Festival. Um, it'll be my third year going. Okay, so Picnic this year is going to have bands like the Lumineers, Young the Giant, Catfish in the Bottom, and AJR. They all have their own little genre. It is hosted by 101 WKQX. One year I went and it was freezing cold, and the next year I went and it was like the hottest day of summer, so be prepared and bring layers. Last year at Picnic they had a like booth where they were um, getting hairstylists to like practice doing hair for people so you got to go get your hair done for free. So this summer I'm going to Summer Smash and I'm excited to go. Yeah this is my first year going to Summer Smash but I went to other concerts before. I'm excited to see Playboy Cardi, Juice WRLD, uh, Lil Mosey. Oh I got a lot of tips. Alright so if you wanna like, enjoy the music, I say stay towards the back. But if you if you like wanna like mosh and stuff, I say get in the middle. But if you wanna get to the front, like get there early at the stage so you can see whoever you wanna see. This year I'm going to Lake Shake and I went I think two years ago. It's a country music festival that is like three days long and it's the Huntington Pavilion in Chicago. I'm really excited to go this year because Luke Bryan's going and he's my favorite country singer. I saw him like a couple, like last year in September, and that was really fun. And then they have dogs at Lake Shake that you can pet and adopt, so I'm really excited for that. Bring a lot of water and uh, make sure your tickets, like, like don't double scan them, because I double scanned mine and I had to go all the way to the end and come back and do this whole big thing. So like make sure you scan it one time. Hopefully I'll see some of you guys there. Well, that wraps up your season finale. I'm Grace Mankowski. And I'm Kennedy Carnegie. We won't see you next week, Elsie. But we'll see you next year.